Um, yeah, I'm, every year I'm always trying to get better um, in my game and stuff. But I think for me, it's just going out there and having fun. And I just love representing my family and I uh, love representing my um, my mum and dad. Mum um, and dad came from Tonga, um, didn't know any English, but just for a better life for their kids. And uh, that's the only way I can repay my parents is going out there and putting the best foot forward. And then hopefully that I can do good on the puppy field so that I can put my uh, kids in a, in a good position so when they grow up they can uh, be whatever they want to be. Even both of my parents were hardworking. Um, parents and we didn't really have much uh, growing up. I remember when I was young, uh, mum and dad, uh, dad had a job uh, in town but mum, we worked on the farm picking asparagus and, uh, and peas and courgettes and stuff like that so um, yeah, so like when it came to school, the holidays, yeah, I used to hate school holidays because I had to go work on the farm <laughs> picking peas, uh, yeah, picking peas and asparagus and stuff but um, do you, yeah. like, do you like it? Do you eat it? Nah, like it? bro, I'm still angry at those peas and asparagus, eh, look. But you pick them, bro, and the next day they, they're growing, you know? They're growing twice as big, so you have to come back and pick them again, bro. So that's how I got a sore back. Um, but, yeah, like, my mum and dad would always say, like, if you don't go hard at school, you go hard at sports. This is what you're going to be doing. So I hated picking asparagus and peas so much, but I just trained, like, just, yeah, I just promised myself I'm not not coming back to work on these farms, bro. So now you're back at the Black Jersey, bro, after a year away. How's that feel? Yeah, um, yeah, it's, it's uh, you know, hopefully I get out there and and, do, and get an opportunity, but, um, yeah, it's been tough. Uh, it's been tough and, um, you know, obviously watching from the sidelines and stuff, but like I, um, you know, like I always say, you know, hard work always pays off and, um, yeah, just really grateful for the opportunity again. Yeah, well, obviously, um, breaking my arm was was tough, you know, having to watch um, the boys carry on playing and not knowing if I'll be back or not. And, and it was kind of those things that, like, um, there was nothing that I could do to try to help the injury heal or whatever. It was either going to heal or it wasn't. So. It was really tough, but I'm really lucky that I had a really good support system around me and had a good uh, good partner in Mavis. Um, she helped me get me through those days where it was tough. Yeah, give it all to my partner and the man above. Um, for me, yeah, my faith is a big part of my life, and um, my partner takes care of things that people don't see. And um, do believe in if you have a happy home, uh, everything else will take care of itself. Yeah, no, she. Yeah, she's been there for me, like, um, like, yeah, like there were some days where I had to, I had a training program and she took the boys, woke up early, got the boys ready for school, take them to school, pick them up from school, because obviously I had to train and stuff like that, so people don't see that, but for me I'm truly grateful that uh, my partner is, always puts uh, my career first, um, even though I know it's hard for her, so. I'm really lucky that I have a beautiful woman like that next to me and I'm really lucky that I'm here today.